Hi guys, welcome to the light up skill. In the last video, we saw how the Python how the comment works, how the single line comment works, and how the multi line comment works. How to comment, uh, how to comment and multi line using the string control forward slash, and how to uncomment control forward slash. Why we are using the comments to give a context and what's going through on the on the code basis. So we need to understand for that reason we use a comment section there. Now today we are going to use an input function. How the input function works. What is input function? Input function is nothing but am. So whatever the input function allows us to take an input from the user. Okay, we'll ask user to give an input based on their dynamic queue. That was this. We'll see how that works. First, we'll go with the ask the name of the person. Name equal to. Print this function. So in the previous function, what we will do print is we are going to oh, first we are going to store any of the variable uh, where the value in this variable. We have to declare that variable and initialize that variable. Uh, so it, it's it's like an it's like an uh, predefined only. But so here by using input function we can uh, we can declare this uh, variable as a dynamic. We can use whatever on the fly. We can uh, give the value for this variable and we are going to print that where uh, where that value. In the print function, below print function. Let me let's see. So when you give an shift enter, right? When you run this command, so it will ask for. So it will run. It will ask for the value. So whatever the value which we give, right? We are going to print that data. So what will be my channel name? Alight. So what will be the expected outcome? My name is Alight. See, we got the result. So in this uh, function, right? Uh, in the print function, we also use the dot format. We'll see that uh, um, to get in the output to using a dot format also. Format and variable name. So, uh, if I run this, uh, do we get the result? We'll see. We'll ask here. We will ask for the name, and I am giving an alight. See, the result has not give. Why it has not give? Because in the dot format, we have to use the placeholders. So where we want to print, in which place we want to print. So that's the reason why the my name, the variable which is which is present in here, which we are given as an ally. So it has not got printed. So because of this, we have to put a placeholder here where we want to print. If now if I do if I run this query, if I run this code. We are going to get the result. Result. See, we have got the desired result. The next thing, right? Uh, we are going to see take a two input numbers from the user and add. We are going to add the two numbers. See. One equal to input. We are giving and we are asking for the user to give a number of two numbers. So, we are storing that in the number three. The concatenation of those two numbers or the addition of a, those two numbers, we are adding, we are giving, we are, we are assigning that value to number three. Printing the value of number. It is asking for a number one. So as we have mentioned, take a two number input from the user. We are giving the number and give him five. Then enter. It will come here. It will ask for the number two. Then I will give him six. Now it will do plus. And what will be the desired output? We are expecting is it's eleven. Let's see whether we will get an eleven or any other number. I don't know. 
why it is taking much time and still running let it uh, we will wait for that thing here so in the desired output we got as an 56 why because so whatever we pass in the input function or even it's a number or anything it will take as a string only so here we are concatenating it as a by default it will take as a string always you remember whatever the value user inputs right whatever the value of user inputs it will be taken as by default as a string so for that reason only we got as a 56 so how to solve this we will see so we will check the data type of this number 1 and number 2 using a dot format. How to check? Time. One. See. So, by default it took as a string. So, how to overcome this? So, how to specify whenever you are declaring variable you have to specify the int of we have to specify this using that find now See, now it has came, it should be 11, why it has came number 1, it, is, it should have escaped 10, so here if you see here, I have given it as a number 1 only. I have concatenated with num1 and num1 only. So that's the reason it's num1 is 5, it has to as 5 only. We have given output as in this 2. So if I print now, see. So that's the reason why on the num2 it has to as a number 1, that's 5, and number 2 it's an 6, and number 1 and number 2 if you concatenate, we are going to what is this? Where you Okay, let me run this again. Five comma six comma equal to fifty. This C. Now it has came as an eleven. So why because why it did not get this? So it has now the number two has overwritten as an five. So that's the reason why it has took uh, so it has took if even if you give a number two also. Uh, we are getting the same result so because of that we have to again we have to give input as a number 2 as 6 now it has worked with the number 11 so the one point uh, to remember is so whatever the user inputs right it will be by default it will be taken as string so if you want to do any of the input function you can give that thing so thank you guys we will see in the next video